Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to learn about resistance pressure transducer. This is a main type of resistive transducers. Measurement in the resistive type of transducer is based on the fact that a change in the pressure. Whenever a change in pressure occurs, then it results in a resistance change in the sensing element. When pressure changes then the sensing element resistance also changes here what is mean by resistance resistance is the property that which restricts the flow of current resistance pressure transducers are of two types mainly here we have two types of resistance pressure transducers first one is electromechanical resistance transducer see electromechanical resistance transducer the name itself tells us that it involves both electrical and mechanical energies so in which here a change in pressure or stress or position or displacement or other mechanical variation is applied to a variable resistor here variable resistor in indicates that the resistance can be varied it is not uh, it is not uh, it is not compulsory that the resistance must be 100 ohms or 1k it will be varies it will varies according to the change in the pressure stress position displacement or any other mechanical variation which when applied to a variable resistor this is one type of the resistor and next one is strain gauge when there is a stress when there is a way the stress acts directly on the resistance here in the strain in the strain gauge the stress is the most important factor which affects the resistance directly it is very commonly used for stress and displacement measurement if stress is applied then the resistance changes if at all a moving or a, a movable object is placed in front of the strain gauge then that displacement will also occurs right so by using the strain gauge we can measure stress and displacement in the instrumentation in the general case of pressure measurement the sensitive resistance element may take other forms you see we are going to measure the pressure right in here in the resistive pressure transducer we are going to measure the pressure see the sensitive el resistive element resistance element may take other forms means the resistance can be in any form depending on the mechanical arrangement on which the pressure is caused to act on which on which type of mechanical ar arrangement is there in the system how the pressure is acted depending on that the resistive element the sensitive resistive element takes different forms in figures 1 and 2 shows us the two ways by which the pressure changes acts to influence the sensitive resistive element here by which the pressure varies the resistance element also varies right i mean in the position or in the pressure the pressure where the pressure variation varies the resistance also they are two types bellow type and diaphragm type here these are the types of the materials i mean the way the system is kept in each of these cases the element moved by the pressure change is made to cause a change in the resistance see the element is moved due to the pressure change then it causes the change in the resistance which is a sensitive element this resistance change can be made part of a bridge circuit it can be made part of a bridge circuit and then taken as either ac or dc either ac or dc output signal to determine the pressure indication in order to determine the pressure how much how much change has happened in the pressure this resistance change whatever the resistance change has happened they can be connected to a bridge circuit and they can be taken as an ac or dc output signal by using that in order to determine the pressure indication this is one type of resistance pressure transducer here these these are bowels bellows sorry these are bellows this is the type of transducer see the arrangement first here bellows are there this is a resistance lets to external bridge circuit 
to external bridge circuit we have to connect the resistance to the external bridge circuit right resistance change so these are the leads which are which are used to connect to the external bridge circuit see this one and this one i hope you can see it this is our resistor variable resistor to be prefer specific this is our resistor means resistance change occurs actually this is a spring if spring is forced if pressure is applied this side it will contract right and then it will expand like that and here we have this resistance contacts resistance contact in order to connect the bevels to the bellows to this variable spring we are using this contact u shaped one u shaped one contact is used here this is kept in a glass jar like this and it is the pressure inlet from here we'll we'll give the input as the pressure when pressure is applied from here then this will also contract right this will contract and expand which causes this spring to contract and expand this movement of the pressure from here to here from here it will come right so this pressure inlet will cause the expansion and contraction in this spring which will affect the resistance of that material here these are the two resistance leads which are used to connect the bridge circuit bellows movement coupled to movable resistance contacts see bellows movement these are the bellows right bellows movement is coupled to movable resistance contact see this is a movable resistance contact and this is also a movable resistance contact i hope you understood it understand it this is sensitive diaphragm moves resistance contact here this is another type of uh, resistive pressure transducer which has diaphragms this is this hook like see like this it is there no like this this hook this hook like one this hook like one is the diaphragm here same it is kept in a pressure i mean glass jar see here we have an open see like this this is the spring the same pressure inlet from here we will in input we will give the input as the pressure we have the spring here this is another contact this is another big contact these this and this is same in the above diagram also they are used as resistive leads to connect the to connect them to the external bridge circuit see here we have diaphragm and these are the contacts as the sensitive diagram diaphragm moves resistance also changes they'll change see from the from here the pressure will impact on these diaphragms and it will cause the movement in the spring which affects the resistance of the spring thank you so much if you find my video worth watching please do subscribe to my channel